Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you the best way and probably the cheapest way to automatically scrape LinkedIn posts with make.com. Here we go. Okay, so from a very high level, what we're gonna be building today is essentially a system that can take a list of LinkedIn URLs, however many you want, and go scrape those LinkedIn profiles for their latest posts. And then we're gonna dump all of those posts into a spreadsheet here. So I'm gonna be using Google Sheets in this video, but you could use Airtable, you know, any, any system you'd like. Uh, but you can imagine how a system like this could be very, very valuable for you in a couple different ways. Now, in this example, I'm just going to be pretending to be, you know, an NFL fan, and I don't want to miss any of my favorite NFL team's latest LinkedIn posts. But let's say you're, you know, in the finance industry, and you want to keep tabs on 10, 20, 30, 100 of your biggest finance competitors and what they're up to and what they're posting about on LinkedIn. Well, you could run this automation once a week and get all of their latest posts dumped into a spreadsheet and then, you know, kind of slice and dice that as you, as you'd like. Uh, I've seen companies that track their own portfolio companies with systems like this, uh, just to keep tabs on the companies that they own. What are they working on, et cetera, et cetera. So an infinite number of, of use cases here. Uh, I'm just going to show you a very basic example that you can apply that to your unique business model, uh, as you see fit. Okay. So let's hop into make.com here and let's start building. All right, so what we're gonna be using today is uh, Google Sheets, like I said. So Google Sheets is gonna be our trigger. And what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to search rows, all right? And I'm just gonna go link to my uh, Google Sheets account. All right, and then I'll search for this uh, unique file here. So my LinkedIn post scraper file right here. And then uh, the tab I'm going to be pulling in from is called Profiles. So I'll go find my sheet name profiles. My table contains headers. I only need A to Z. And I will get, uh, you know, I'll get 100 maximum rows. You can change that to whatever you want. Okay, so we'll hit OK. So that'll just go scrape. I'll show you. That'll go scrape uh, all of our different rows in this sheet into unique bundles. Okay. And when a module in make.com, outputs as bundles, we don't have to use an iterator, okay? We can just automatically use this Google Sheets module to iterate through every single one of these bundles for us automatically. So we don't have to do anything special with iterators or array aggregators or anything like that, okay? So that's cool. All right, so how are we going to actually scrape LinkedIn? Now, if you've ever tried to scrape LinkedIn before, you know it can be very technical uh, or very expensive or both. The way I like to do it is by using a site called Appify, which essentially just has a bunch of these different bots that can go scrape, you know, different tools or different websites for their data. So in this video, we're gonna be using a bot called LinkedIn Company Profile Scraper. And it's gonna be this one right here, okay? Uh, and you can see it costs right now a dollar per every thousand results, it's basically free. Uh, they are going to be raising the price here to 50 per a thousand results, $50. Uh, but we get five free dollars of credits a month. And so unless you're processing just a ton of these uh, profiles every month, uh, you should be okay by just staying on this free plan. But just keep that in mind, you're paying per result here with this bot. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go create a task here and we can just give it a name. And we're gonna hit continue. And... Uh, just change this, I'll hit continue. And then once we have our task, we can see it pop up right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come into make and we're gonna drop in an Appify uh, run an actor module. Okay, and you wanna connect to your Appify account and then you're gonna go find the actual actor. So it's gonna be this uh, Prataki Dani LinkedIn company profile scraper. Sorry if I butchered the name there, okay. And then in this input JSON field, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Appify, we're gonna open up this actual bot, and we're gonna tab over to JSON. And all you wanna do is just copy this in. You can see we're just, all we need to do is feed in the actual profile URL here on LinkedIn, and that's all this bot needs. So we'll just paste that in here like that. And then all we wanna do is, instead of looking up this Apple profile every time we're just going to dynamically feed in the LinkedIn URL from our first module or from 
this this column right here okay so you just want to feed that in just like that okay okay and then let's uh, let's run this and just test that out make sure it's running okay cool so it ran five times so if I come to Appify, we can see that we're actually using memory now. And if I come to runs, we're running five different tasks uh, in sync or at the same time, okay? That's not what we wanna do because a lot of these are gonna take time to do, okay? It's gonna take, you know, we can see these have been running for 20 seconds, they're still going. Sometimes it can, these can take a minute, uh, sometimes they take 45 seconds, okay? So uh, I normally just do a minute little break here. So after this module, I'm going to add in a sleep uh, module and I'm just going to have this sleep for 60 seconds. Okay. And that way, uh, our little actor here back in, in Appify can actually go scrape uh, the profile we need in LinkedIn. So you can see these all took about 30 to 40 seconds. So a minute should give us plenty of cushion. Okay. So we're going to sleep. And the next thing we're going to do is we actually need to go in and get the data set uh, that we're actually going to retrieve with these actors. Okay. So essentially what we do is we launch the task or we run these actors, which essentially sends the bot out to LinkedIn and grabs the data. But then we need to retrieve what's in the package that they go get for us. Okay. And that's what this, this fourth module is for. And so what we need to do is we need to feed in a data set ID to actually go unpack and get, get the stuff out of that package for us. All right, and so we're gonna feed in this, uh, where is it, default data set ID from our second module. Okay, so that's just gonna go get all that information, all those posts from LinkedIn, so that we can use it now, okay? Limit, we'll just leave as 100, that's fine. All right, and then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna run this one more time and just see how this is looking. Okay, so only one of our actors is running right now. All right, and then we're gonna sleep for 60 seconds while this runs, okay? And again, the reason we need to do this is because if we try to get the data out of our actor before the actor is done running, we won't retrieve anything. So we need to sleep for 60 seconds, let this complete. So this one finished in 19 seconds. And then once it's complete, then we can use this module right here to go and grab the data from it, okay? So we'll give this another 30 seconds or so, uh, and then we can keep going. Okay, so that's done now. I'm gonna stop this, because I don't wanna run through all of these, but we can see now what we actually got out of this get data set item module. So if I scroll down here in my Appify module to this update data array, you can see now that we actually get the 10 latest LinkedIn posts from the NFL, all here inside this array, okay? So you can see them all here. Now, the reason I keep saying that this is an array is because it's very important. When we get data in make.com in an array and we wanna add or do something to every item in this array, not just the first item in the array, but every item in the array, we need to add something called an iterator, okay? And what an iterator is going to do is iterate through each item in that array and essentially in our case add each item in that array to our google sheet if we didn't do this we would just add the first item in that array to our google sheet but we want to add every post all 10 of those posts to our google sheet so in order to do that we need to iterate through this array okay so we're going to drop in an iterator and i'm just going to feed in this update data array now, if you're a mink.com beginner, you can always tell an array from a non-array by looking for these two square brackets at the end. Okay, so you can see here, I don't know if I can zoom in, these two square brackets right here, that means that this is an array. Okay. And so that we can iterate through. Okay, so feed that into your iterator. And then let's see. Next, I'm going to add a Google Sheet module because we want to add each of those posts as a new row to our Google Sheet or Google file. Okay, so it's gonna map to this file, just like this. And then my sheet name, my latest post, so I'm gonna add them to this sheet right here. 
and then I want to map fields, okay? And importantly, I want to map the fields out of my iterator, okay? So title, well, I guess I don't really have a title coming out of LinkedIn, uh, but we do have the text of the actual post, so I'll change that in my sheet. So I'll add the text of the post out of my iterator. The company name, um, let's see, I can probably get that from my Google Sheet right here. So NFL, perfect. And then my link, uh, I will get from my actual iterator, okay? And I'll include that just in case I ever wanna go see the actual LinkedIn post live on their LinkedIn page. Okay, so we're just mapping fields here. And then we'll hit okay, and we'll hit save. And then we'll run this thing through fully and see how this is working. Okay, so as this is running, I'll kind of walk you through again, high level what we're doing. So it's running right now. And what we just did is sent into our Appify uh, profile scraper here, the NFL or National Football League's LinkedIn profile URL, okay? Appify, that bot, is gonna take that URL, it's gonna go scrape it for its latest posts, okay? And normally that takes, looks like it's taking less than 10 seconds every time, okay? I'm gonna hold here in my scenario for 60 seconds. I could bump this down to 25, it looks like it's not taking that long. Because I need to make sure that this actor is done, it's retrieved that information, before I can go get that information here with my fourth module. And so after this 60 second hold time, this module will go get all the data from the first module, the first Appify module, and that way we can actually work with and access all those LinkedIn posts from the NFL. So that just happened perfectly on cue. And then what we do is for each post in that array, we iterate through and add them to our Google Sheet. So you can see we just spent 10 operations adding all 10 posts to this Google Sheet, okay? And then once we do that, we loop back around. You can see we're still running here because our Google Sheet has basically an auto iterator in it. All of those sheets here with URLs come through with bundles and bundles we don't have to iterate. They just iterate automatically. And so this is running again. So again, now we we fed in the Green Bay Packers URL to our Appify bot. We're holding for 60 seconds. And then we'll go get all of the Green Bay Packers latest posts and iteratively add those to our Google Sheet. And so we'll kind of let that go. But in the meantime, we'll go check out our latest posts here. And if I format this so it looks better, <laughs> give me a second here. Let me clear formatting. You can see that I have all 10 of the latest NFL LinkedIn posts. And I have the, the text here, and I have the name of the company, and I have the link to that post, okay? And pretty soon we'll get the Green Bay Packers, and you can see these are coming in here too, and I just gotta fix the formatting again. But you can see now that we're gonna go get every single post, or all the latest 10 posts, for every single company or profile in this list and then we can do whatever we want with it you know then we can write content with it uh in chat gpt or we can send this to i don't know our sales team and say hey go check out what they're doing over there why aren't we doing this or whatever you know you could do whatever you want with this but this is going to get you this beautiful big list of all this good data that you could use from your competitors from your portfolio companies from your favorite LinkedIn profiles. So that is the best way and probably the cheapest way that you can automatically scrape LinkedIn posts inside of make.com. If you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing, that would be awesome. If you have any questions, get down in the comments and let me know as soon as you can. I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Thank you guys so, so much for being here and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.